This is your West Palm Beach. Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl Kahn and this is your West Palm Beach. For Parrot Heads, it was a night to remember as Jimmy Buffett was honored at a Labor Day weekend show nearly a year to the day after his passing. As the sounds of his music fill the air, from a distance at least, you would have thought it really was Jimmy Buffett performing. But the Caribbean chillers are the next best thing, and Parrot Heads, as Jimmy Buffett fans are called, were delighted to hear them nearly one year after Buffett passed away. Last year after Jimmy passed away, we, we held a tribute event for him, and this year we decided to actually hold it, the beginning of Labor Day weekend, which is, Labor Day weekend show is a famous line from his song, Come Monday. Come Monday. Jimmy Buffett, a prolific singer, songwriter, businessman, and South Florida native, died of a rare form of skin cancer about a year ago. His Buffett-branded businesses live on, though, as do the styles that were on display on stage and all over the Great Lawn. Yeah, we are the people. At this special Clematis by Night tribute to Jimmy Buffett, they honored his memory by playing his music and blowing bubbles in reference to his song, Bubbles Up. One of Jimmy's last songs that he, uh, that he recorded and wrote was called Bubbles Up, and it was kind of what he left behind for his fans uh, of hope and resiliency. The Jimmy Buffett tribute concert is expected to become an annual tradition. When you go to events like outdoor concerts, you'll be glad to know the city has your safety in mind. Among those making sure security is tight, police canines, including a brand new member of the force. Marshall is a West Palm Beach police canine. That means he, just like his human co-workers, is expected to protect and serve. My Marshall, he's amazing. The amazing Marshall is not the usual German Shepherd canine you may be used to seeing, and his partner, Officer Rodney Archer, says this gorgeous yellow lab has very specialized duties. We do lots of demonstrations. We go to schools. The main job is his uh, explosive detections, and he is phenomenal. He, he's probably the best we've ever had. Officer Archer, the first African-American canine officer on the West Palm Beach Police Force, says he's wanted this exact job ever since he was a little kid in Barbados. Now that he and Marshall are out in the field together, he couldn't be happier. I was given the opportunity after about 20 years to follow my lifelong dream. And they don't part company when they clock out at night. Marshall, who's named after Marshall Mathers, also known as Eminem, lives with Officer Officer Archer and his family. At home, he's a big baby running around, licking the kids, chasing the other dog, and they're back and forth, so it's like having two additional kids at home. The two are just getting started on their journey together, and while it is a lot of responsibility, Officer Archer says this job is very special, and he's delighted to share it with this happy-go-lucky partner who's got boundless energy it's and a smile that lights up the streets. And as you might imagine, Marshall turns on the charm with everyone he meets. Now that the Summer Olympics have come and gone, many athletes are trying to stay focused on what they need to do to make Team USA next time. That includes one very determined local skateboarder. He's daring and loves to jump off some really high places. I like skating ramps, so like grinds, like airing. I love to air. But for Kainalu Kanabita, also known as Kai, the skateboard tricks he's demonstrating are no big deal. The 20-year-old skateboarder grew up with the sport right here in West Palm Beach. He's been competing all over Florida and the country and is ranked 76th in the world for his age group. After watching skateboarding in the Paris Olympics, Kai's now got his eye on 2028. I want to get to that point. I want to get there. Kai used to compete in surfing and see some similarities, but prefers skateboarding, even though the nature of the sport can mean lots of bumps and bruises. When I start trying something like really hard, it takes me a long time. And it hurts sometimes. Oh yeah, all the time. Are you okay? Yeah, I feel better now. He spent the summer working with kids at the park's camp. Lean forward and bend your knees. Ready? Here we go. 
with plans to pursue a fitness career at his dad's nearby gym. But Kai says he'll always find time to hone his skateboarding skills. And with a little luck and a lot of hard work, we may just see him at the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles. Kai knows he's got his work cut out for him, but he's ready for it. If you prefer workouts with a little less risk, you might want to try croquet. And before you dismiss it as way too easy, take a look at this. They say it's kind of a cross between chess and billiards with a little bit of a golfing vibe. But croquet is a sport unto itself, and those who are into it just can't get enough of it. Dick Scherf is a teaching pro here at the National Croquet Center, which claims to be the world's largest croquet facility. He says there are some very serious competitors playing a few different types of croquet with rules that can be very complex. How do you get a point? By rolling your ball through a wicket in the correct direction and in the right order. Some regulars like Clint Folks play almost every day. I'm 77 years old and, and it's hard to find something that you can do outdoor that's physical that really doesn't test you to the wall. So I, I found this croquet and, and I've, just, I've just enjoyed it. You could continue learning over the years. Former college football player Derek Wassink says it's a great sport for athletes who are looking for something intense, but not too hard on the body. It is excellent exercise. Anything outside in the summer in Florida is uh, takes a lot of uh, tenacity. On any given day, there are games going on all over the property. And I just fell in love with the game and it's been croquet ever since. And mixed in with all the socializing, some serious competition and champions just doing what they do. You're pretty good. No, she's a champion. She's a champion yes. of the club or just? No, beyond the club. Really? Yes. yes. If you'd like to give it a try, the National Croquet Center offers free introductory lessons to non-members. For more information and to sign up, visit their website at croquetnational.com. At Mandel Public Library, the popular Touch-A-Truck event was standing room only as librarians and firefighters put on a great show just like the rock stars they are. Playing to a packed house, librarians warmed up the crowd during a firefighter-themed story time. And when the actual firefighters took the floor, their adoring fans went wild. It was all part of Mandel Public Library's Touch a Truck event, aimed at little kids, their parents, and other favorite adults. This time around, firefighters showed off their gear and demonstrated just how fast you need to suit up when that alarm goes off. Finally, outside on Clematis Street, kids and adults alike did get to touch a fire truck, climb aboard, push some buttons, ask some more questions, and just have fun. I am going to every like to see every single step with them. We're so excited today. I want to be a firefighter and I grow up. The library holds touch a truck events featuring all kinds of city vehicles on a regular basis. For details on those and other events at the library, visit wpb.org slash library. There's so much to do and see in our city. Hope you can get out and enjoy it all in your West Palm Beach.